All right, today let's look at using the tetra chords as a drum sequencer and then make a whole techno track with just one track on the tetra chords. Okay, first things first, I'm going to connect the tetra chords to the door using the MIDI C cable. And for this example, I'm going to use Ableton. So I set up first a trigger track. This track is going to come out of Ableton and we're going to use this to trigger the track on the tetra chords. So right now I'll set up the trigger track and I'll output from that track to tetra chords MIDI channel one. Then I'm going to input just a 16th note trigger pulse and use this to trigger the tetra chords. Now if we jump back over to the tetra chords and press and hold shift and MIDI in, we can check that the track we're working on is accepting MIDI in on MIDI channel one in simple triggers mode. All right, now let's input some notes on the tetra chords and hit play on the door. And you can see that that trigger sequence we set up is triggering the notes on the tetra chords. All right, now we need a track to actually play the sounds. So I'm gonna make another track in Ableton and just drag on a straight up 909 kit onto that track. You can see on the drums track that I've left it as all in on the MIDI input. So any MIDI that's coming out of the tetra chords is going to trigger those drums. All right, let's hit record enable and hear what we've got coming in from the tetra chords. So you can hear as I'm inputting different notes and moving the notes around, they're playing different samples in the 909 drum rack. Sometimes they're playing nothing at all because there's no sample in that spot and that's why you're getting that broken rhythm. And you can hear that the rhythms are changing because there's gaps. This is a fun way of making grooves because from a very straight 16th pulse, I can make super broken different time signature grooves um, and then switch between them super fast and easily. Okay, I'm just gonna make one more track in Ableton and just put in a straight 4-4 kick so that we have something to work against in context of these grooves. Now I'm going to start playing with the velocity, which is something I really like doing with drum samples. So if you hold shift and move the spread and amount knobs, you can dial in the velocity settings for this track. And you'll start to hear the inbuilt algorithm in the tetra chord playing with the velocity of the drum samples. This adds even more groove to the drums because they start getting natural volume automation going. Okay, now we're going to go a little bit wild and we're going to add one more track in Ableton that just has a VST, which is kind of like a modular -y preset. And this is going to listen to the same MIDI that we're using to control the drums. So we're controlling everything with one track. All right, I'm just going to have a little jam now and just ride out this one track on Ableton controlling the drums and the melodic synth element. Try out using the Tetra Chords as a drum sequencer, it's super super fun. 